I've been sitting on this since Monday. You can call this an observation or you can call this a statement of fact. It's up to you. But if you're in a situation like old mate where your main rig, so your main PC at home or what have you, or maybe your gaming machine is Windows based, sometimes you get a lot of flack from the Linux communities of the world. Some of it's tongue in cheek and they may understand why you still use Windows. Sometimes it's fairly vicious and can be unwarranted. See, the fact is, you may have a Windows machine because maybe there's a game you play that just doesn't work in Linux or is not available under the Linux platform yet, even though Steam is getting better and better and better, so are the other gaming emulators. Or in old mate's case, there may be a piece of software you use that while it might work in Linux, it's unstable or unresponsive or certain things about it, it doesn't like. And that's the case in point with old mate. As I said at the top, I've been sitting on this one since Monday because a viewer, long time viewer has been in touch. As you can see in the background, it's Old Mates Q&A and advice time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. And for this one, the viewers asked, if I was going to go full Linux across all my PC and laptops here at Old Mates, which Linux would I go for? I can't make up my mind. You got questions about some IT stuff? You got questions about AV stuff? You got questions about the 80 Series Land Cruiser? You're at the right spot. From Old Mates Backyard Tech, this is Old Mates Q&A and Advice. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mates Q&A and Advice time here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for a Thursday. And uh, this comes from a viewer who I've had a number of email convos about IT and AV stuff over the, I don't know, last couple of years or so now, I guess. This is from a viewer by the name of Stephen. Hi, old mate. Realising the fact that you run Windows for various reasons and that's your choice. It would be nice if people respected that sometimes, but they never do. Also realising that your servers already run some variant of Linux. That's true. My question is, if you were going to go full Linux across all your laptops and PCs, which Linux would you go to? Now you see why I've been sitting on this since Monday. Um, I'm stuck between MX and Open Man Driver, to be honest. It would come down to, this will bore the pants off there, know it all experts. It would come down to what hardware the PC was running that would determine what of the two OS's I love, which two of those desktop OS's I would run. Currently, most of the PCs that are connected to a television, except for that, obviously that's connected to the main PC, but the rear pro, our main lounge room TV, the dining room TV and the bedroom TV are on some form of Linux and it's MX basically. That's based upon the hardware. Now, if I had, for example, say I have another Z97 M plus motherboard line around with a slightly better Core i5 and maybe more RAM, maybe more RAM than I'm currently running, I would look at maybe Open Man Driver. The default Linux system I would run if I was gonna get rid of Linux across the board would be MX Linux, excluding the Macs. The Macs I wouldn't bother touching, or at least the big 27 I won't. Um, but the main rig, if I was going to go full Linux on the main rig, it would be MX Linux, either with XFCE4 or KDE, I don't know. Um, probably XFCE, based upon my hardware, knowing that KDE, even 
with 16 gig of RAM on KDE, you're still, you know, in idle, it's still going to pull, well, it'll pull more, less than Windows will pull. But I'd probably go to MX because XFCE is lighter, not just from a, a desktop point of view compared to Plasma, but it's also lighter on the hardware resources. Um, but I honestly don't know. I, I, the pro See, this is the thing, and I love the fact that people find this hard to accept. A few of my viewers have, all right? Not a lot, but a few. Some of the software I run here, primarily in the pro audio realm. Now I know Harrison Mixbus 32C supports Linux. That's not my problem. I've got rid of Cubase. That's not my problem. My problem's WaveLab. I'm keeping WaveLab for my two track, okay? Especially for two track work for Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Um, so there are some programs that I don't run properly under Linux. Now, I have one laptop, and that's that Toshiba satellite uh, media laptop that's running Windows 7. That only gets used sparingly, okay? The only other laptop in the entire, the only other PC in the entire house to run Windows is the main rig. Every other unit here at home has got some form of Linux on it in some fashion, okay? So, I don't, I, look, realistically, I've only got one permanent machine running Windows and that's the main rig. So um, I would probably, the main rig would probably go to MX Linux if I was going to go full Linux across the board. Okay. Um, but then again, as I said, I would need to find a way I've seen tutorials on how to get Steinberg to work in Linux correctly. I've never got WaveLab to be stable because the latency, in 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 my experience, the latency's blown out over two hundred and fifty milliseconds, even in the ASIO realm. Forget about the WDM realm. Even going out through the UAC, I get two hundred millisecond latency. That's just way too much. Um, either on a pre-roll or what have you, or a or a auto detect record. Um, so I would probably just stick with uh, if I, as I said, if I was going to go full Windows, it uh, full Linux, it would be MX on the main rig, um, and then I, I mean I've got Open Man Driver on a laptop anyway. I've got to upgrade it to LX four point two anyway, so there's no problem with that. Um, but it'd probably be MX. Because MX is everything else. Every other PC in this house and a majority of the laptops are MX Linux. So if the main rig was going to go to Linux, it would be MX. Unless, he says, <laughs> Open Man Driver, and I'd have to test it anyway, but if Open Man Driver actually ran well on the main rig and I could guarantee it would run well, it might. Uh, I would put Open Man Driver onto the main rig and see what happens. I can't right now. I'd have to pull the main rig down, put a hard drive in, and test the theory out because the um, I don't want to dual boot the main rig if I can avoid it. So to answer your question, Stephen, ninety eight percent sure the main rig would go MX, which would mean just about everything here runs MX but I would consider the main rig with LX 4.2. Notice I said I would consider putting LX 4.2 on the main rig. I'd have to test both of them out if I was going to. The thing is, I have no plan to Linux the main rig just because of all the stuff I've got. And even if I can get it emulated properly and stable, at least with WaveLab and Haley on and all that. There's just there's your problem. So the main rig will stay Windows, but every other computer I've got is Linux. The servers are all Linux. The hypervisors are well, they're VMware, but it's VM's Linux kernel basically. VMware's Linux, um, 
So basically, everything would everything would stay as it is. Essentially, I'm not. I wouldn't be bothered bothering to change the main rig. And yes, I know, I cop flack for it, but I've said this before. There are just some instances where you just can't go to win. You can't. Linux can do a lot, but there are some instances where you've just. In my case, I've got to stick with Windows on the main rig. Even though I've turned most of the Windows crap off, <laughs> there are just some instances where I've got to have the main rig as Windows. Everything else, I mean, the 27-inch iMac runs MacOS. But I only use that for monitoring or, you know, if I want to run uh, a VM while I'm working on the main PC, I can run it from the Mac anyway so that's sort of that's it that's all I can say Stephen unfortunately if the main rig was going to go if I was going to go full Linux it'd be MX but I would test open man driver LX 4.2 to see how it ran on the main rig before I would make my mind up but I'm 98% sure the main rig would get MX and that would give me MX through the house basically and also that Toshiba laptop with Windows 7 media on it, I'd probably go MX on that too and then try and find a decent TV tuner. If that Toshiba um, H.264 um, DVB STB is supported. I don't know that it is, but I'd have to do some research on it. So there we are. Old mates Q&A and advice, guys. Stick around. We're going to have a coffee chat coming up regarding tomorrow. Have a good one. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.